In today's lesson, we're going to be talking about electrophilic addition reactions, and more specifically, we're going to talk about the addition of elements XY across an alkene double bond. Here we can see a number of examples of how this addition across a carbon to carbon double bond actually occurs. However, looking at these top two examples, why did bromine add to carbon 1 and the hydrogen add to carbon 2? Were there any considerations that need to be made to predict that this specific reaction would occur? And what about the reaction below this? Why did the hydroxyl group preferentially add to that middle carbon instead of one of the add carbon atoms? And as always, we have to continually take into account what type of solvent we're in. If we're in a non-nucleophilic solvent, such as dichloromethane, we can see that the solvent does not participate in the reaction, and only the dibromide is added across that alkene double bond. However, we have a nucleophilic solvent, such as water, we'd see by looking at our end product that water participates in this reaction. How to predict where an electrophile will add across the double bond, as well as what products we would predict to be our major products based on the conditions we're in, will be covered in a variety of examples within this lesson. But before we can begin to understand any of this, we must first introduce the new elementary step, A sub B. The way this reaction takes place is simple, and A sub B will always involve pi bond breaking and sigma bond making. And in this example, we can see that our homo indeed is our pi molecular orbital, and it is donating into an empty A orbital of an electrophile to form a sigma bond in our product. And although the filled orbital in this case is a pi molecular orbital, the empty orbital does not necessarily have to be an empty A. All that has to occur is a pi bond breaking and a sigma bond making reaction. With this new elementary step in place, and you're understanding that addition of an electrophile to an alkene involves an A sub B step, we can begin to understand how this addition of an electrophile to an alkene actually occurs.